you, you ready to talk to you, we see you talking to you, are you talking to you, are you talking to you, you ready to talk to you, we see you talking to you, talking to you, talking to you, talking to you, the line we got stings on your stings. What's good, bro? We're kicking, girl. We're kicking. I said, man, the reason why I'm calling you up here, I want to know, like, what's up? Where you at? What's up with you? What's going on? For the most part, I've been doing the whole running, we go hard shit. And the situations that I asked for all fell through. Like, Rip, I don't know if y'all know for a while, it was a bunch of speculation right after Danny, y'all told the battle killer. You feel me? That died out because he wanted a certain amount of bread that they wasn't willing to pay him. You feel me? So, whatever, how that went. That was a dub. Then, you feel me, I basically lowered it down to three names. Big T kept saying it was like he wasn't going to take the battle. Um, John Jones. Who? Who kept saying Big T? Yeah, Big T said he wasn't going to take the battle. Then took the um, Mike P thing like, months, like a month or two later. You feel me? Wow. This is a man little corny shit like that. That's why I basically niggas going to see me at the end of the year. At the end of the day, everybody going to see me. But they just, um like, it's going to be a bunch of shots, though. You feel me? Like back to back shots. I'm in Cleveland, October twenty first. I'm supposed to be in Memphis November fourth, but I might be hitting them and putting that uh, pushing that back or dubbing it all together because I got traffic on November eleventh against Diesel. Against who? Diesel. Okay, Diesel to do this battle moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, because when I spoke to KD, he was like, um, "Go up a little bit more, James." When I spoke to KD, he was like, "Um, go up a little bit more." When I spoke to KD, he was like, get one of my young boys a shot. So I'm like, smooth, no problem, let's get it. Who we going with? With Diesel, and I know him personally, so I went with the deal. Plus, the 400 block going to be on the call with me. So we just going to go out there and show these young boys some work. Because we not on the main card. The main card is, I guess, your Sunday card or the next day card. That's what the whole, like, the battles people anticipate. Because I can't even say nothing. I don't know what, what's out yet. You know, I don't, I don't like the, the, the direction we're going in with this right here. You, you put in work. You know what I'm saying? Your name was out there. I know she was, I know she was crazy, crazy for the two on two, but like, I don't see how you're not battling right here. See, and that's another thing. The two on two with Big T and Saga. Remember, Big T Peach was that died that weekend or that week. So mm. he didn't make it to the event. You feel me? That's right. You, you and Chuck were supposed to battle them. Yeah, yeah, we was there. We was ready. Everything was, you know, what it was supposed to be. We literally spent that whole week killing ourselves, writing them rhymes. But my question now was, all right, so what do you want to do now? Because I see the new wave was getting a lot of battles, bro. So you said now, I don't see how that's helping. Now, it's definitely not. But at the same time, I can't, I don't know. Like, after I do this... I mean, I mean, all right, here's my question. All right, here's my question. You said you got loaded down to three names, right? So yeah. once, once Big T said no... And except and, and Chilla said no. Why you ain't just grab something else up, bro? Just just the battle. It's see, it's hard to do something like that when these little niggas is asking for big names. You feel me? And then nothing like it's never set up like the way you wanted to get set up. It's every everything, especially now that I run the league. I know how this shit go. Both people have to say yes. These niggas don't be taking the battle. I don't see Ryder saying no to you, bro. You be like, well, if you call Ryder out, he's not gonna say no. Ride a hungry too. So why you ain't why you ain't calling why you ain't calling him out? Why you ain't calling Jack Boy out? Why you ain't you know what I'm saying? These niggas like you gotta respect the name now. You put a lot of work in, bro. Yeah. It's not like no one on URL don't know who you are. I mean these phones used to speak or hard. I don't like seeing niggas put work in and then you don't see them in the main stage. I just don't like shit like that. Because you do go hard in your battle. What I so can't it's say right to not see you, but we see anybody else but that's not helping your stock. Now they're gonna pass you some things. And, and, and status wise, I guess you could say fan wise. And then they're going to get the battle. So I, I, I don't know. I think it's promotion too. You promotion? Because promotion with me, as far as I don't be blogging or talking shit. Like the last, the few months that I ain't been battling, I've been really focusing on running the league. And I haven't been talking. Anytime you see me talking, it's about new matches and shit I'm setting up. And about not about nothing I'm doing. You feel yeah. me? And that's like, that's probably, that, not even probably, but that got something to do with it because a lot of times, Buzz for matches get set up by you talking shit. You feel me? So question. So so all right. Now that you run, we go hard. So we see that it kind of does in the space when you're with your battle. Like, what's the goal for we go hard since you're running it now? What's your your main goal now? Just to get it to a point where it just becomes its own entity. As far as 
Well, it's already his own entity, but far as upper echelon. You feel know I me? Mean? I want us to be staple top three, top four. Mm-hmm. You feel know I me? Mean? Right behind you, URL, KOPD, Queen of the Ring, you feel me? RBE, all of these leagues. Like, I want us to literally be stationed right behind them. You feel me? I think it's damn near that point. Yeah, in fact, I believe so too. But I got to get it to the point where. Okay. You feel me? That's, that's my goal. That's the goal, but I mean, so. But if that's fucking up with your personal goal is battling, I mean, how you you got to find a better way to juggle it, I guess. Well, or, or you got to start blogging more or something. I got to start blogging more. So that's what it really is. At the end of I mean, the day, you and Av, you and Av could be a crazy battle. You and, you got niggas out here, bro, you could battle. There's plenty of niggas I could battle. Like, I do the Jack Boy battle. It wasn't directly offered, but I let niggas know if niggas wanted that to happen, especially since the big, the, the young cannon battle. Niggas said, I, for me, I lost the young cannon, he lost. Let's just set the shit up and get it going. You feel me? Mm, Steams and Jack Boy, man, that would be good. That would, I, would, I like that battle. I'll be at right, right there. You feel me? just got to be set up. I don't be knowing what niggas be looking for at this point because I'm not there. That's another problem with me. I'm not the rest of these battle niggas. I'm not calling nobody over and over trying to find out what's going on. If you ain't hit me back right now, like, you feel me? You won't get to me. That's, like. That's the problem right there. What about, what about, a, like, what about X Factor? Or Miles. She did this whole thing. Because me, it, that's another thing about me. Cap, I'm the type of nigga that was ready to take all the battles that not so much made sense, but made sense as a rapper. You feel me? Mm-hmm. When, when I first came in, remember Ty Law was lit. I wanted Ty Law. Nobody was trying to set that up. I wanted Born. And to this day, still want Born. I just seen Born and Magic the other day. Live in first, you feel me? I still want Born, but nobody ever wanted to book that because it's like, you, you're making a wrong move. You know, Born don't got no real stock. That's not going to do nothing for you. It's like, my nigga, if we get to the point I'm at now where niggas is not taking battles, that's not doing nothing for me. That's right. I was trying to tell you before, man, you should have you got show off. Show a battle show off? I say, I, I, well, yeah, I think he retired now. He took a little four back battle rap, but that would have yeah, been nice. He said, I spoke to him over there about that shit. He was at the yeah. other game going battle. You should have took him when his buzz was high. Like, there's certain niggas that, there's, there's certain niggas where when they buzz at a certain status, just jump on that shit. That'll help both of y'all niggas. What you mean? We got to get your, we got to get your name out there, bro. I don't want to see you being passed for all these new niggas. I don't want to see niggas saying, oh, I don't want to see Joe saying, oh, I'm about to steam. What's that going to do for me? I don't want that. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I don't do like this like shit that. like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Classic coming out before the years. Like, even though Diesel was a PG, I'm going to give him my all. Like, he going to get to work. And then okay. I'm going to end the year with Ish Moolah, and we go hard. That's a home battle because he the top nigga, and that's my league. So why wouldn't I want to take the top nigga? I've been hearing a lot about Ish Moolah. He fire? Yeah, he fire. He just battled Cortez and Rex. Okay. Cortez is just talking about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. J-400? J-400? I was battle yeah. J. Game God, it, bro. You know what? You, how much is so? But you definitely would not battle a legal hard nigga, right? I mean, it depends on who it is. You look I mean, at this. Just look, look at this situation. You came out before chess, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now look, look, look at look at the big chain, though. You know what I'm saying? This thing is going somewhere back. Mm-hmm. It, that, that's where I'm coming from with this shit. Okay. No tracker, Jack. No tracker, Jack. All this. Mm-hmm. No problem. My forecast. How I make it? What you say? No, you good. I'm saying that. Like, look, look at the, the the gap there between you and Chester. You started first. Yeah. What about DNA? You and DNA wouldn't be bad. Oh, I know. Oh, no, literally, that's that's a battle that I would take. It's not like certain battles you don't gotta ask for because you know, like it, it. They they should know if they ever bring his name up. What am I gonna say? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like I just feel like anybody who knows anything should know, like, it's no question will I take a DNA battle. You feel me? A big T battle. John John. Clean. You feel me? Like, I take mostly, I take just about whatever comes at this moment just because my my run basically that came off. You feel me? Like, it was, I was supposed to battle at least no more than four months after then. And the fact that that didn't happen, it just, it slowed everything up. Mm. You feel me? I feel like I should have been back in the ring no more than four months after Danny. Because if, regardless of the people who feel I lost or most of the people who feel I won, it's like you got you had a good showing. You got to show them a good showing again or a better showing. You feel me? This is how these people fuck with you. It's about how good you look, regardless of what. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. How do you feel about? I about, a chance to show that. How do you feel about niggas progressing after they leave? They lose a couple in the world. I don't feel no way about it. It's just how they lose. It, 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 that's the thing. If you progress after getting your ass kicked, then it's like I, I would be. I would feel away, but I would actually still hold it down because in, in the back of my mind, to me, that's bitching. You feel me? You just gotta mm-hmm. understand it this way. Boom. If if you went ahead. Or losing a battle bad, but I done had battles where I won clearly and still nothing happened for me. You feel me? So that mm-hmm. would probably me mentally, personally, but I wouldn't even voice it because and I know that this is the type of nigga I am. I'm gonna look at it like I'm bitching for what? I get over it. You feel me? This is why when I do this battle rap shit, I just tend to not take everything personal. This is probably another thing that hurts me because I'm not killing myself for this shit. I really like have a job, I have a whole life other than this. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, it's my passion and I want to go as far as I can, but I'm not. Kissing nobody's ass to get there. Yeah, you're not living off of that. Really. You feel me? This shit, yeah. I eat well off it, but you feel me? My family don't eat off this. You feel me? Yeah. Trez? Work as we speak. Well, you, you, I'm not. Like, you definitely take Trez? Definitely take Trez. I would take Trez just for the fact that everybody, just because ever since with the shit happened with J- JC, niggas mm-hmm. gonna set up chess in him. Niggas, like, don't get me wrong, that battle was inevitable. But I still don't feel like it's tomorrow. You feel me? Like it's not there yet. So I'd rather take it just to like slow him. You feel me? Like take a seat back, take two, three more battles, then you and my young boy, y'all, y'all, you feel me? Y'all have the mm-hmm. greatest match ever. Because it's gonna be godly when it happens. Man, I got that been in the making for years, bro. Ever since that that heat was popping, man. I blocked that shit like four years ago. <laughs> word, word. Cause I, I fuck with Trez. Trez super dope. I definitely take that battle. Okay, okay, all right, all right, just make it short. Even Mike P? Even Mike P? Yeah, why not? Like, Mike, my guy, don't get me wrong, I actually watched Mike come up from the beginning. I seen him in E and J when, you know, to the sucker nigga who swung on him over the battle, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. so I always knew about Mike, you feel me? So I definitely be in there to sharpen our swords and see who, see who on the on top at this point in our careers or whatnot. Okay, okay, that, that, I think that would be a fire battle right there, Shine. Man, you got yo, you and Clean, Clean trying to come back there. You and Clean would be dope. You got battles out there, bro. No, no funny shit. And that's a crazy thing. And I'm about that note. This is this just because of this conversation. This is gonna be the day I call niggas and ask niggas what's up. Because Clean, I know for a fact with that one. Like, it's mm. no, you really, it's no way anybody could tell me unless it came out of his mouth that he don't want the battle. I known Clean since I first got in. After my car battle, him and QP was one of the first niggas that was solidified already in their own right. They hit me up just to say, like, yo, we fuck with you. You feel me? Like, your boss is up, you doing this, you doing that. And ever since, every time I ran into him, every time we had a conversation, there was always love. And he always said, I'm a, you feel me? He, you know, talking his shit, he'll kick my ass one day. You feel me? And I, I'm, that's a battle I super want to get into. Because no lie, just to be a man about it, clean one of my favorite PGs. When him and mm-hmm. B-Magic came out, like, that was the shit, my nigga. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Damn, okay. I definitely want to have that. Hopefully, I would. I would love to do is battle him, and he be in old, clean form. That's a fact. I think he's trying to get it back and shit. You feel me? Like he don't even flow like that no more. Like the way he used to with the say one thing and say another thing that rhyme with the last thing. You know, like jump around, mm-hmm. like double rhyming and shit. That shit was fire. You feel me? I guess he couldn't sustain it though, because that shit is hard. I used to play with that when Freeway was rapping. Mm, old Red, that'll touch your pen right there. That'll test everything. That nigga's a problem. Everything <laughs> he did with show off was crazy. I wouldn't even I, mind seeing you versus uh, uh, if it came down to it, Mr. Mills. Uh, I wouldn't mind that. Jay Murder? If you were battle Jay Murder? Yeah, I probably would battle Murder. Sway? I probably would battle Murder. You and Sway one on one? I wouldn't be mad at that. Fucking. I take it, but I ain't gonna lie, that'd be an awkward match for me. I fuck with Sway, but like, like extra hard, and the whole team homie. So you fall into that, you know, Sway big homie type shit. You feel me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got That's you. Definitely big bro. Like, hey, yeah, I love you. Know, this nigga old solo doing this thing over on you, dub shit. Slide over there. Smoke him and and probably not even show up. Video prompt. <laughs> you would smoke. Corny cap. I can't think, deal with him. You think old solo's corny? He he just be serious, Jones. I, I I think he's dope for what it's worth. As far as, like, from what time frame he came from, 
Mm-hmm. And the way he's trying to do it now, you know what I mean? But I don't see him against nobody. Like, you put him against a nigga like Moon. Moon to talk that shit over him to me. Because Moon still talk old school, but obviously he got that new school swag to it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And to me, Moon to talk to him. Moon to talk yeah, to yeah. a few niggas. I'm, I kind of like him. I need to watch Yo, you got to watch them on old battles, bro. They all like that, man. Moon like niggas. Yeah, yeah, bro. He's been I like his style. You feel me? Everybody ain't got to be a ball head. He, I like the way he talk to niggas. Like, it's really OG talk. You feel me? My OGs talk like that, but regular talk. You feel me? So when he's saying this, like, yeah. That's why I was laughing during that battle. Somebody was like, talk to us. You feel me? Like, we young niggas. Talk to us. <laughs> Yo, I know who. Tech 9. Tech 9. I can't see tech, but I'll do it. <laughs> that nigga opinion makes me tight. I go up and down with him on champion, no homo. You feel me? Some days I fuck with him heavy, some days I'm like, nah, I keep that opinion to yourself. Mm, you feel me? Okay. But shout out Low Soul, Low Soul's doing this thing, bad news. I just seen him and him and Jay Murder was crazy. Who you gave it to? Oh you, oh, you seen Loso. you seen you gave it to Low Soul? Yeah. Okay. He okay. he just seemed very comfortable in enemy lines. He seemed very comfortable behind enemy lines. How hard is that when you going when you going to, to enemy lines to battle? That shit is super hard, especially when this is what is that the second time doing it? Loco mm-hmm. battle DNA on KOTD, and other than that, all his battles is bullpen, right? I believe so. Yeah. You feel I me? Believe. As far as far as belief, even if they not when it started to count, he's always been on bullpen. He did this KOTD like that was enemy lines, especially against DNA because that nigga we all know he's a, like super seasoned vet, you feel me? And then you come here, you battle Jay Murder in a house that love him, you feel me? And he gonna talk to you dirty. Mind you, you talking a whole nother type of talk, and he really got his point across. Yeah, I'm thinking like, that nigga don't want to see you battle now. I don't mean to touch your Geechee guy, he's doing his thing, big cannon. I fuck with Geechee. If, if he wasn't already locked in on, on traffic, it would have been, try- I'd have tried to make it me and him. Yeah, you and Geechee wouldn't be a bad battle, bro. That wouldn't be a bad battle right there. Him or Stewie, because I fuck with Stewie too. Yeah, Stewie Newton, yeah, he slept on. I, I think niggas are still sleeping on Stewie Newton. I just was watching yeah. Stewie and Gwitty the other day. Who you gave it to? Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it's like you got a lot of weak or hard niggas who's now on you or else what they're trying to take over. You, what do you think about anybody clicking up and all that shit? I think it should be a message to certain things. I'm not against any groups, obviously, because I have one. You feel me? Uh-huh. It's I'm I'm a, I'm somewhat against randomness. You feel me? <laughs> Niggas who don't know each other that well, who don't really really fuck with each other, I don't think you should be in a group with them. Okay. You feel me? Okay. That, that's just, that's, not, that's my kind of take on it. You see why you don't see like random niggas just popping up cake? You feel me? And whenever you do, usually it's a lower level nigga because we at these events, we chilling with niggas. We niggas coming to our hoods. We, you feel me? I'm calling my bros, dude, with them, and we just met him a week ago. You feel me? So it's like, all right, he getting a bond with the team. I right, personally, your cake. That's why I always tell people: most of the people that you see rocking with us, we friends on the street. You feel me? We a link up, and it ain't the cipher. It's just a chill, rock out with each other, make sure everybody good. Get, you know what I mean? If a dude can't, if a, if a person ain't the person to ask me, how's Noah? You feel me? How how's this person? This is not really somebody I should be on a team with because he's not my friend like that. You feel me? He's a battle rapper friend. I have plenty of those. There's plenty of niggas in battle rap that call me to hit a round, critique they round, likewise for me and them. You feel me? We're not a mm-hmm. same team. We're friends. We're cool. It is what it is. So that's where it stops, though. Exactly. That's, I think that's where it should stop. You feel me? Unless you have a personal rapport with somebody. You can't be just jumping on a, like a battle rap team. You got to understand this shit kind of... When it comes to being in battle rap, this is our own world. It's a whole reality going on besides this, but I still see <clears throat> battle rap as its own world. When I start to get into a uh, event, half of that shit going on in my life has to go on hold. And not really has to, but I put it on hold so I can enjoy my night. You feel me? Battle mm-hmm. rap is, this is our pastime. It's my party. I don't party. I don't do none of this shit. So when I go to a, uh, a battle, that's my party. That's when I get together. That's when I see all my people. We rocking out. You feel me? Like, we have our own world. So there's no need to click up with people in a world. You feel me? You can you can go be friends with anybody, but don't just click up with niggas because they got certain status or this is going on. Shit like that is not really cool to me. You feel me? But more power to everybody and much success until you see us. Mm, okay, okay. 
I'm looking because it, it's a lot of motherfuckers. Uh, a lot of a lot of Christians just come out of nowhere. I'm trying to figure out like, that that taking away battle, like, is that really great for battle? Like, it only makes sense to me if you're gonna battle another crew. There's a card like that. That's the only way it makes sense. Yeah, when it's crew versus crew, but at the same time. Nobody really successfully, consistently did that yet. You feel me? Cool. Oh, RBE played with the idea, had a dope event, and hopefully they explore it again. But until then, it's not has never been a thing. Like, what league has really gave us such and such versus such and such? Like, even in Weagle Hall, we done attempted it, but it never really completely worked out. So we have a call with three battles that's um, Golden Squad versus Cakes. Mm-hmm. The rest of the card is random, so you can't even call it that. You feel me? It's mm-hmm. hard to get that done. But when you have a bigger platform, it's not as hard. Paying hey, niggas, money talks. You feel me? They're going to take the battle that up to their standards just because of that. Okay. Hey, hey, for the record, Jack Boy Main said that would be a fire battle. Line it up, you with it. See, now I'm about to, I'm about to hit these niggas today. I'm about to hit these yeah. niggas today. Get that shit done, at least for the top of the year. You feel me? Right after I do the diesel shit, I want to be able to focus on it because that's going to be my return back to the East Coast damn near. Probably going to be a whole year later because Danny happened in January. And me, remember, me and Danny were set up to battle from the summer. I was mm-hmm. set up to battle Danny in September, then in October, and then it got locked in when they got everybody on the car because certain people got took off the car, certain niggas, you, you know, battle rap shit. Okay, okay. Well, he said, he said, he said line it up, man. He said line it up. I just want to, I just want to, um, I know you got work and shit. I'm not, I'm not gonna get with myself and shit. I was just thinking, like, man, what the fuck my nigga Steam's at and shit, man. I remember before, I used to hate your fucking style. Then I thought it liked this shit. Now you ain't battling anymore. It's funny when, when, you, when you were saying this, I'm like, yo, the nigga, he used to hate me, but I thought I said you were a genuine nigga for as that, definitely. Because when you fuck with me, you personally used to hit me. You feel mm-hmm. me? I remember you wasn't fucking with me before rum. You was like, rum gonna smoke me. You seen the rum shit, and regardless if you felt he won or not, you hit me just to say, like, Yo, you fire, my nigga. You dope. You hear me? So, respect. Both rip. That's what it is, bro. I, I, I just don't want to get lost out here, bro. No shit. I appreciate it, my nigga. In no lot of jack shit might turn into something, so I appreciate that. No doubt, man. Get, get jack is on it, too, man. Y'all need to line that up. I want to see that shit. I, I'll personally hype the fuck out of that for y'all, dude. Word, word. Good looking, my nigga. I'm on that shit. <laughs> That's what it is. You be safe, bro. You too, Mark. What? <laughs> You, you, I ain't talking to you.